in the wonderful 1950s, if you're still capturing sound, which you are, um, the wonderful 1950s, America comes up with this revolutionary system. They can't see you anymore. Um, revolutionary system using three cameras and a new definition of widescreen. Okay? Um, which is what we're using. This is what we're using. Uh, Cold War comes around. We're um, on tight terms with the Russians. Um, and so they decide to knock us off, of course. They come up with a system called Khrushchev. Khrushchevo, I think. I just made that up. Um, same thing. We did it first. So in case you ever talk to a Russian that says we've got it too, they don't. Uh, ah, lovely host. Oh. Um, lovely, I didn't mean that. He's a jerk. Um, Sometimes it gives you a big canvas for action. Go that way. I mean, go that way. I'm going to shoot him. In Cinerama. Didn't work. Again. Didn't work. Because it's in Cinerama. That was out of Cinerama. Anyway. Here it comes. We're going to pass from this frame to this frame to this frame. And there you have it. There you have it. Um, the way Cinerama was used um, was to use your peripheral vision um, in the movie going experience. Um, what it would do is it would wrap around to the edges. Oh, here it comes, giving us peace because he's not Russian. Um, it would just use your peripheral vision so you felt like you were experiencing the experience. Um, here we have a man running with his iPod across all three frames, melted into one. Um, Nate's coming back. No, it's not. That's the minivan. Um, what, what's happening? The Cinerama is, because it encompasses your peripheral vision, is... Huh, Lez Lizard just walked over the wall. Um, here he goes again, with his blinker on. Uh, there he is, still, still there. And I'm just blathering on because I don't want to touch anything until Nate gets back, so maybe he should get back. Go ahead. Okay. Stop the recording.